Hello and welcome back. Well, we're going to do something a bit different. Um, we're going to get onto these, onto the, one of these old engines. Uh, I'm going to strip the little Ronaldson tippet to horsepower. Strip it down. Have a look inside it. See what the bearings are like, all that sort of stuff. And hopefully get it running. So it's been probably 30 years. Well, it's 25 years that I know of. It's never been running. Um, I've been lucky enough to pick up a couple of magnetos and another car before it. So the only thing I haven't got for it is a water hopper, which I may have to make something later on. So something a bit different. A bit of a spell off the lathe in the mill for a little bit, and um, a bit of a change is probably going to do me the world of good too. And it's something I've been wanting to get done for a while, so. It's time to move on with an old engine. All right, so here it is. It's two horsepower at a thousand RPM Ronaldson Tippet. Now a few weeks ago, Trevor and another chap was around here and we were a bit laughing around and discovered this flywheel had a crack in it. So while I had the two blokes here, we um, we pulled the flywheel off, which was no easy feat. And I didn't know how I was going to attack it. Um, so what I ended up doing, I ended up spinning it in the lathe with a pretty wild setup and machined this outer ring and then machined up a steel ring and a bit of 4140 that I can sweat onto there which I stopped it flying to bits. But then Trevor turned up with a donor engine that had a it's another flywheel on it, but it's actually bigger. So I'm still undecided whether I'll use this one or just put the bigger flywheel on, which bigger flywheel will probably make it run a bit slower. So, which may be a good thing. But since this thing hasn't been, had anything done with it for well over 25 years, I really would like to have a look at what the bearings and that are like inside, like the big end bearing crank bearings, journals, the whole lot. So it's not a complicated engine. It's going to be relatively easy to strip down, give it a coat of jam, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that we actually get it running again. So that's what we're going to do. I have had the head off this before. So we know what we're getting in for, in the top end anyway. The valves probably need reseating or lapping. There is a bit of a lip on that bore, but I will measure the bore, top, bottom, in the middle, whatever, so if there's anywhere and whatever. There is a bit of piston slap in there side to side. But when the head was on, it did have compression. It always amazes me that you undo a bolt on one of these and they all come undone. Like none of them are locked up solid or out of all the old engines I've had over the years I really don't think I've ever even broke a bolt try and undo them they've all come undone admittedly some have had to have a bit of heat but There we go. Just had a homemade gasket made on it. Which I'll have to try and copy. It nearly come off in one piece. Bonus. 
a little bit of surface pitting there. And a bit of phone, George. This one, the intake the exhaust had a bit of pitting on the stem. On the lifter. This one's got a little bit of surface rust. Probably put them back in the load and just finish them up a bit. A bit wet and dry. I'll keep these separate so I know which one's intake, which one's exhaust. Probably doesn't really matter, but rub this piston out while I'm here. Didn't do that any favours, did it? Garden pin don't look like it's got a lot of wear on it. Surface rust. Really next to no movement in that bush, which is good. It's not 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 a lot of side play on that Conrad either. So I'm tempted just to take this whole governor assembly off in one go. See there on that cam lobe, and you pick it up there, you had a bit of a chew on that lobe, it's going to need a bit of attention. Shaft there seems to be in pretty good order considering the age. It's got an interesting oil groove in it, just a big spiral groove. And that bronze gear looks in good condition, real good condition. Quite surprised. Thought it might have had a chipped tooth or something, but there's only really there's a mark on that lobe there as well. There's a mark on the lobe here. And a decent mark on the lobe there. Just to take a bit of care about. Timing mark here. They're so pretty, pretty basic sort of an engine, weren't they? It's just a plate to give you access into the big end bearing, and just a crankcase breather. I just drained oil out of it off camera yeah, and done this bung on the bottom here. Nothing come out. Flicked the cap off, oil went everywhere. She's that full of grease. So to get a bit of wire and jamming up there and Yeah, she was just all grease. She's not real good in there. I suppose for the age of it probably understandable. There's no split pin in the bottom of that bolt either. Well, it's that cap on, bearing cap. It's a castellated nut. It's got a hole in it for a split pin, but there wasn't one in there. So someone else has obviously had a, well, this one's got one, look at that, eh? Spoke too soon. Well, we know there's a shim in each side, like a thin shim. Sure, bearing that look too bad. It's got a bit of wear in it. Certainly not going to get replaced, I can tell you that. Now I'm going to go and put these shims in a safe spot so I don't lose them. So that's what will happen. Oops.
Well, it's all apart now. As you can see, it's just grease in the bottom. Which is another reason why I wanted to pull it apart completely is to... So I can clean the inside properly, not half-arsed. But... Like, honestly, for what this engine's going to be doing, which is nothing... I'll just say it right now, these bearings are going to go back in regardless. Because the engine's be lucky if you started once a year probably. So, anyway, that's a part. Bit of a mission out of the way. And it only took half an hour, I suppose, to pull apart. The big job now is clean it all up. Clean it up. Scrub it out, rub it back, paint it all, make all new gaskets, um, yeah, just spruce it up, and hopefully it will run. Fingers crossed.